Okay, so I, uh, I got home last night. It was about 11 o'clock p.m. And uh, the HVAC system's running. The, uh, there's limited airflow coming out of the vents and the thermostat in the hallway is set at 69, but it's reading 79. So we've got some type of problem. I'm gonna go show you what it is, quick fix remedy for it, and uh, we'll go from there. So without further ado, run VT from last night. We're down in the basement right outside the cheese vault and we're at the furnace. Let's go ahead and crack her open. Pro tip, if you own a screwdriver like this that's got the uh, removable uh, tips on the end of it, the socket here will fit directly over a lot of the hex screws that you'll find around your house on your HVAC system, both inside and out. Let's go ahead and get this panel off here. Should just pop out, just a couple tabs at the top. And once it's popped out, you can see the interior uh, little tower there completely frozen. Just a little close up of that. You can see how all that ice and frost is built up on that. And a lot of that's due to restricted airflow or excessive humidity. Uh, you can see, like I said, that's really, really thick ice there on everything. It's even formed some out here on the, on the outside line. So we're gonna need to get all this off here. So kind of like I was saying, the uh, excessive heat outside, it's been in the mid 90s, uh, along with uh, restricted airflow coming up through the furnace itself, um, and just the humidity kind of all come together to form the perfect storm. So let's get this done. Okay, so I got this small little heater here set about, you know, two feet away from the ice block there. And I'm just going to go ahead and turn it on and let it run for about an hour and we'll come back and see what kind of progress we make. However, we're going to go ahead and also have the dehumidifier running here to clean up any water that runs off because it is going to make a bit of a mess. So if you have one of these, you're definitely going to want it running at this point. Okay, well it's been about an hour. Let's see what kind of progress we've made here. As you can see, massive difference. A lot of that ice is already gone. Got a couple little sections here in the bottom on this edge. You can see the same on the back, back in the bottom over there. And there, give you a little bit of a close up. You can see how much is still back there. It's the furthest away from the heater, so it's gonna take the longest. You can also see that there's just a little bit of ice there at the top of the tower as well. So, kind of got to make sure we get this all thawed out before we do anything else. And if I didn't point out yet, the outside line there is completely clear. So, I should probably put a little bit of extra insulation on that. Anyhow, I'm going to let this sit for about another hour and uh, we'll come back and see what kind of progress we make. Two hours in, you can see the kind of mess that this will make. Um, yeah, so uh, that all that water means progress, though. So, as you can see, it's almost thawed out. Just a couple little sections of ice. I'm going to go ahead and let this sit overnight. We'll come back in the morning. Well, we're back, and you can see that our dehumidifier bucket's full. And our pyramid is completely de-iced. So there you go. Now I let this sit overnight so that it would uh, dry out as much as possible before I went ahead and restarted the system. Definitely don't want any ice in there because it'll just reform on you. But as you can see, it's all, it's all out of there. So it was lucky that it wasn't too hot last night and uh, things worked out pretty well. Throw a brand new filter in there and we'll be good to go. Let's get this thing closed up. And that's, uh, that's about it. Go ahead and put the panel on and put all of our screws back in place the same way we took them out. I hope this video is helpful to you. This is a very simple fix to a fairly common problem. So if you have found this video helpful or if it saves you some money, keeps you from having to call an HVAC technician out to the house, I'd certainly appreciate a thumbs up like. Uh, leave a comment for me below either way, and feel free to check out some of my other videos. 
As you can see, the temperature is steadily dropping, and within an hour we should be right back where we need to be. I'll see you all in the next video.